Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and today we're doing a yin yoga class to release any kind of tension in your low back area. And we begin right away. Maybe pet your cat if you have one there. Stretching your legs out in front of you when you're ready. <laughs> Get rid of any cat hair and then sit up tall. Keep your tailbone on the ground and extend the crown of your head upward. Walk your hands toward your knees and tilt your pelvis forward until you find your edge. Relax your head, neck and arms, letting gravity do the work here. So let your back round. Everything heavy. You can always slightly bend your knees to prevent them from hyperextending. And we'll stay here for about four minutes. Really put your chin to your chest as much as you possibly can. And there's no reaching for your feet. Palms stay at the level of your knees or maybe even closer towards your hips. Inhale and exhale, slow, steady breaths through your nose. And now stay in this position and just very slightly tilt to your left. So your upper body tilts a little bit more over your left leg than the right. But it's very small, so if I could see you, I would barely see you moving. But you should feel the stretch now more in your right upper back, lower back and maybe the neck area. And hold here. Come back to center and then slowly tilt the slightest bit over your right leg. Again, it's a very, very small movement. If you look at the screen, you barely see me move, but you feel the difference. It's not the stretch changes from the middle of the back now more into your left side. So neck, upper back, lower back. And just breathe into the sensation.
Tilt back to center. Deepen your breath. Pause here for a moment before coming up. And then, using arm strength only to come up, press into your hands. Neck is the last thing to come up. Be very mindful and slow with your lower back. Until your head lifts up too. And then come into a cross leg position to notice the difference from just this one pose. I know for me it's always a huge difference. Just take note, no judgment. And now we'll transition to a child's pose with an easy variation so the knees stay close together. Push your hips back and down, bringing them as close to your heels as possible and rest your head on the ground. Extend your arms towards the back of your mat, turning your palms upward and keeping the backs of your hands flat on the ground. I always like visualizing taking off a heavy backpack from my day and the stresses of life and just setting everything aside. Let your spine curve naturally and your shoulders rest on your knees. Use only arm strength, push into the ground to come back up slowly, inch by inch. And next we're going to lower all the way down, to lie down on our back. Coming into reclined pigeon pose. Cross your right ankle over your left knee, right foot is flexed. If you feel a stretch in your right hip here, stay in this first option. Or you can reach through with your arms, pulling your left knee in towards your chest. So there's a little bit of engagement in the arms required. But really try to relax everything else. Even the muscles around your eyes, your neck and jaw. Slow, deep breaths in and out through the nose.
Release the left foot back to the floor and we will repeat the sequence on the other side. So come back to center with your legs, feet on the floor. Maybe take a breath to recalibrate. This time crossing your left ankle over your right thigh. Left foot is flexed, maybe staying here if this is enough. Or reaching out through with your arms to hold onto the thigh or the shin. Remember you could also always use a strap here if you can't right reach. Or you could also prop your head up on a block or a pillow. Gently pull in towards you and relax the arms as much as possible. If your mind starts wandering, always just bring your focus back on your breath. Think of sending your breath into your low back, filling it with new space and air, melting the tension away. Let's release the right foot back down on the mat, both soles of the feet to the floor. Extend your left leg straight out and pull your right knee in towards your chest, giving you a big squeeze. You can rock gently from side to side, massaging your right low back. And then coming into a twist. Right knee goes to the left side and your right arm goes out at 90 degrees into a cactus shape. Both shoulder blades deeply rooted to the ground.
Let's release this pose. Unwind. Maybe give your knee a last squeeze. Before letting it go out long. And then pull your left knee in towards you. Taking a moment here to sway from side to side. Or just squeezing it in. And then come into the twist. Left knee goes to the right. Over your left. Uh, right leg, I mean. And your r right arm goes out 90 degrees bent to the left. Relax your left foot, calf and shin, left knee, left thigh. So even though that leg is in the twist, it's completely relaxed. You can always use your right hand on your left thigh to keep it in place. But it's all very soft. Let go of the whole of your left leg if you had it. And then pull both knees in towards your chest. Give it a huge squeeze. Take a moment here to send your breath into your low back once more. Maybe feeling already a relief. More space and softness. Release, coming right away into our final resting position, Shavasana. But this time I personally find that if my low back feels tense or I have a little bit of pain there, that Shavasana and extending the legs fully out is a bit much. So keep them bent, feet out to the sides, to the edges of your mat and the knees knocked together. One hand to your chest and the other to your belly. And breathe here for Shavasana. This is a really nice variation. That's very gentle on your low back.
Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe reach the arms up overhead in a big cat stretch. And then draw one leg into the chest and then the other. Give yourself a squeeze. Roll over to your right side using your forearm as a pillow, left hand to the mat. Keeping your eyes closed and intention inward, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Palms come together in front of the heart in prayer. May you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.